Let's just see what happens. Is he going to take the knight? Okay. Martin is smarter than I gave him credit for. Let's play again, Martin, since I lost in one move. Hey guys, the rules are simple. If my knight makes it to the first rank without getting captured, I win. If at any point during the game Martin captures my knight before it makes it to the first rank, then Martin wins. Checkmate doesn't really matter, although it does end the game and I can no longer complete the challenge. Good luck, Martin. Here we go. I'm going to play queen to e2 and just to see what Martin does. Okay, he's pushing the pawn over there. I'm going to just kind of stall for a little bit and see what Martin's strategy is going to be. Let's move the king this way. He's just slowly pushing the pawns, which is actually quite difficult. At some point, I'm hoping he has to um, overextend. Okay, we can almost take this, but it seems risky. I think Martin would see that. So I'm gonna just wait and play it slow and see if Martin makes a mistake. Ah, okay, that's what we needed. We can take this pawn and this pawn. Okay. I mean, I'm tempted to take it and just see what happens because then we could just take everything, but it seems like it's too much of a risk. Let's just play it slow. Well, let's see what Martin's gonna do if I go right there. Okay, come back here. He saw that. All right, Martin, let's go here. That's still a lot of pawns. We don't want to go here. That would be unfortunate. Let's go this way. Mm-hmm. See that? Okay. Um, let's go down here. I need him to make another mistake. Let's see if he sees this. Okay, he didn't see that one. Let's take this pawn. And, I mean, at some point I could take a chance that he's not going to capture the knight. I just don't know if now is the moment. I don't think it is. Let's go back here. He saw that. Every, like, everything's defended. Wow. Literally everything is defended. It's mate in 11. I can't even move. I'm going to save this as a last-ditch effort. So let's let's keep trying. Let's see if he makes a mistake. Oof. Let's go here. Okay, let's go back. Okay, this pawn is hanging. Let's see if he notices that. He didn't see that one. So we'll snag this guy. This guy. I just can't let him get a queen. Still risky. I can still do that, but it's still risky. If I go here, there is the fork. Will he see that? If I go here, I'm getting check... No, I'm not really getting checkmate. All right, let's try this, I guess. Okay, good. We can take this pawn. Still can't get the knight out. All right, let's keep playing patiently. Oh boy. All right, let's go here. We'll use the king to help. Let's see if we can snag that pawn. Okay, what's Martin doing? Is he going to let the knight out? Not just yet, but maybe soon. Let's go here. Hmm, how do we do this? I, you know what I could do? I could sacrifice the queen with the idea that it lets the knight out. And I might be able to win that way. That seems like a decent chance. I'm going to go for that. Okay, if he's going to get a queen, I'm just going to do this. He does take it. The queen sacrificed herself, but the knight is on the move. Oh, but is he going to checkmate me first? Oh no. He has mate in one. Is he going to see it? Is he going to see it? Well, we all know Martin never misses mate in one. I want a rematch. I want a rematch. All right. So what if I just, I mean, let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Is he going to take the knight? Okay. Martin is smarter than I gave him credit for. Let's play again, Martin, since I lost in one move. That's a not a bad title for a video. I lost to Martin in one move. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? Let's just use the king. Let's go. Let's use the king and see what happens. Let's go over here. I'm just going to try to confuse Martin with some weird moves. He didn't see the fork, so maybe it's working. Should I try it now? Maybe he, there's enough happening that he's not going to take it? No, I don't think so. I think Martin is too smart for that, but he doesn't see that. Ooh. Ooh. 
That could be just what I needed. Martin, I think you messed this one up, my friend. Okay. He's still trying to get a queen, though. All right, I'm going to have to be smart about this. If I take this, the knight is still stuck. So I'm going to have to spend some time using the queen. Hopefully, no, he's going to get a queen. Oh, man, okay. Still, I can't, I can't get the knight out. I have to spend some more time here. Okay, good. He didn't get the queen. All right, great. Now he did. All right, mate in three. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What do we do? What do we do? Let's let's start bringing the knight out. Oh. It was mate in three if I moved my king, I guess, to survive longer. Man. All right. Let's try this again. We got to beat Martin. We got to. I think we can do it. Let me just see what happens if I take this pawn. I just want to see. Is he going to take it? Oh, he didn't take it. Now, I could take the bishop, or I could gamble with one of these pawns that he wouldn't take it. Maybe he'll, like, get confused, and he'll think that the queen is defending the knight, and he won't take it. We did it. Just like that. Just like that. Martin fell for my trick. And that's how you beat Martin in four moves. I like to call it the Martin Scholar Mate. Okay, well, that was fun. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I think I have a couple other ideas in mind for how I can challenge Martin. But this was a fun one. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. As always, stay sharp, play smart, and take care.